Hello and welcome to another Tal Capes Reaction Commentary. I'm your host, Cody Nestor. Alongside me is my co-host, Todd Heal. What's going on, guys? And today, this is a little bit different than a uh, normal reaction commentary. We have seen this before. It's just been a very, very, very long time for, for me and probably a little less for Todd. But Todd, tell the folks what we're watching today. Today we're watching uh, Season 1, Episode 1 of Thundercats, the episode entitled Exodus. We are paused at two seconds in. I'm going to say three, two, one, play, and we're going to get off and running. So we're going to start now. So three, two, one, play, and we're off and running. Right off the bat here, you talk about your awesome kick-ass 80s cartoon intros. You're staring at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no doubt about that. This is one of the classics. I mean, I mean, there are some other great ones, but this is, a, this is almost like a personal fave right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was born in the 90s, but I mean, I've seen, you know, a lot of the, uh, the 80s shows. And I mean, this one does stand out to me. I can't really think of one off the top of my head that I would put above this one. Just visually, the song, it's catchy. This gets you jazzed right up and ready right from the get-go. Exactly. <laughs> Wiley Kit. Wiley Kit's the boy, right? Uh, Wiley Kit is the... I think Wiley Kit is the girl. Wiley Cat is the boy. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Does this episode have Jaga in it? It does. Am I we have, see Jaga We in? have Jaga the Wise here. Mm -hmm. On the list of like replica swords, I'd love to have. I'd love to have a, a sword of omens. Sword replica. of omens would be badass. Exodus, written by Leonard Star. Is this, uh, let's see, uh, Thundera? This is Planet Thundera. Okay. Jaga! You naked tiger, and of course, right off the bat, we get the famous uh, naked cats. <laughs> I didn't remember that at all. They are all nude. Jesus. What is this? Or what can pass well, for nude in an 80s cartoon back yeah. in the day? Hello, Chitara. <laughs> Jesus. I did not remember the nude Thundercats. <laughs> they Sorry. all look like toys because they have like that line on their thighs. Right. Or they, it looks like they have articulation. They have the articulation cut for their legs. Yeah. <laughs> Snarf, another one of those long line of uh, 80s cartoon uh, side characters, uh, sidekick type characters. Right. Uh, like Orko. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Orko from He-Man. Yeah. T-Bob from Mask. <laughs> Do you remember who voices Lion Oton? I'm going to quiz you while we watch this too. Uh, I remember his name is Kenny, something Kenny. Larry Kenny. Larry Kenny, yeah. Chitara is Lynn Lipton. Jaga, Earl Hammond, Snarf. Do you remember Snarf? I do not. Bob McFadden. Tigra is Peter Newman. Earl Hyman is Panthro. So who was Jaga? Was he just like... The leader of Thundera? I'm, is he related to Lionel at all? I don't know if they were related. I, I always, and this is just me, I've never looked it up. I always just assumed that Jaga was the original Lord of the Thundercats, maybe. Right. And, of course, spoiler alert, he don't make the trip. <laughs> <laughs> so, a wonderful and devoted and sincere friend of King Claudus, the father of Lionel, Jaga was one of the most outstanding members of the Thundarian Council. He will succeed Claudus, who lost his sight fighting the mutants as Lord of the Thundercats and Guardian of the Sword of Omens. So he's kind of like a steward. Right. Like, he, was he wasn't the, the he, king. He was just like, he, he was a steward that kind of stepped in. So Claudus would have been the king, and Lionel Lion would be the next in line as right. the Lord of the Thundercats. Jaga's is kind of his. He's the Volko, gotcha. to use the Aquaman reference. Gotcha. Ah, there's the sword. It gets bigger when you touch it, Todd. <laughs> uh, like some other things. Uh, what kind of commentary are we doing here? Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know anymore. 
But, you know, you're right. It starts out almost like a small dagger, but, you know, <laughs> it gets it turns into a full-size sword. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't, but that happens to everybody, Todd. It <laughs> you know, happens to every guy. It's hard of getting old, folks. <laughs> Uh, sight beyond sight. <laughs> How can I wake it up and let it know, Don? Put on some clothes. <laughs> you can't this even is... lift that pig sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hard again. You can't even lift that king. <laughs> Why does a jogger get to wear clothes and no one else wears clothes? No one wants to see his old cat balls. I mean, maybe, maybe. I don't know. He's the elder statesman. He's allowed. I wish there was a scene where, like, somebody's like had their leg lifted up like a cat, kind of like, giving themselves a bath. Just going to Chichara's room, nah. and she's just like, ah. Nah. <laughs> well, hello, Lino. Even the children are nude. <laughs> what was wrong with the eighties? I mean, uh, Chitara has some kind of belt on at least. Something tells me Panthro was the most well endowed. Hey, clothes. There we go. Here's your clothes and weapons. On record now, Panthro is the man. <laughs> <laughs> is Panthro your favorite? I'll probably have to say so. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, outside of Lino, I, I would probably take Panthro over Lino, I believe. Right. Intruder alert, we got some problems. You're too little to fight, boy. <laughs> Does this make you want to go buy that like the Thunder Tank that was like five hundred dollars or something? Oh, the old, the Super Seven Thunder Tank. I wished I could afford that bad boy. <laughs> I liked when they released all the Thundercats classic toys, but I ended up selling mine again. I think those Super 7 figures are 6-inch, 7-inch. So if you imagine a Thunder Tank that scales with a 7-inch <laughs> figure. And they also did a, a Kickstarter for a Cat Slayer, and it got funded. So oh, you can yeah. imagine how big that's going to be. Oh, yeah. Was the ship ever put out as a toy, like, originally? Like this ship? Yeah. Not that I ever recall, huh? Thundercats are now uh, engaged in with their uh, their evil counterparts, or not their counterparts, but their who they fight throughout the series. It's the evil mutants. Nice. Um, the dude that voices uh, Panther isn't he? Um, isn't he like? Doesn't he play Cosby's dad on the show? He does. I don't I remember. So. I don't remember his name on the Cosby show, but that's the same. That's the same actor. So the Go evil ahead. mutants are uh, Monkeyan, uh, Jackalman, and Slythe. And they kind of have, as you'll they're see, kind of like little evil brutes that resemble Slythe. <laughs> <laughs> but they're kind of the mutants underlings. I'm just looking up. I was wanting to see who did the animation. Japanese Studio Pacific Animation Corporation. The studio was acquired in 1989 to form Walt Disney Animation Japan. This, oh yeah, I always forget that the season one of this is 65 episodes. Yeah, this was like for syndication. No so one it's a, knew what it's they a were. big ass season. <laughs> <laughs> Those were just crazy. And this was also uh, a Rankin Bass uh, production. If anybody were familiar oh. with Rankin Bass, uh, remember the old Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Frosty mm -hmm. the Snowman? Yeah. They also did Thundercats and Silverhawks. I didn't know that. Yeah. Why do they have a soccer ball? <laughs> this is a soccer you ball. You know, I still a kid. He needed a few toys. What makes uh, what makes a Thundercats? Well, I'm I'm just gonna assume you would say Thundercats is better than He Man. Or am I wrong? 
As far as my personal preference of the two, I would probably take Thundercats over He Man. What makes Thundercats uh, more preferable to you than uh, He Man? Uh, I don't know. I think I just like. I think I like the characters a little bit more. Right. And I don't have anything against He Man. I mean, I, I love Master of the Universe as well. It's just, just kind of like a, you know, almost like a one A one B almost type scenario. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I think they both do a good job of blending what you would call like the sword, you know, type stuff with sorcery, also with technology. Right. You kind of get the best of both worlds with Thundercats and He Man and the Master of the Universe. There was just something about this show that yeah, it was my jam back in the day. I mean, I haven't watched He Man in a long time, but like, I feel like this was a a better animated show at least to begin with yeah i mean filmation did he man and they're more known for use and reuse of a lot of stock footage <laughs> a lot of corners, stock you mean. yeah a lot of stock <laughs> shots uh you know you'll see he man jump on battle cat the same way 3500 times <laughs> he'll throw a punch the same punch you know 1500 times right throughout all those episodes it seems like i know them numbers are exaggerated but it seems like that right but this show relied more or not more, but less on stock animation than Filmation did. I mean, it looks good. Yeah. I'm just watching it again. I'm like, you know, I'm not a animation expert at all, but like, it it passes my test. Even though that that uh, sort of omens does look a lot bigger than it was a while ago right. in that one shot, but. And even this, uh, I mean, like I say, it's a good show, and I have fond memories of it, but it does kind of get into kind of a lot of a rinse and repeat, you know. Lino gets into trouble. Lino has to summon the Thundercats with a sword. <laughs> Thundercats come bail Lino out. Big, big fight. We'll Roll see credits. You, we'll see you next week. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Mum Ra back at his castle being pissed off right. that his plan didn't work. See you next week, folks. So they've got to alter their plans. They only can only shoot for this place because they can't reach the other place they were going for. Sucks for them, unfortunately. <laughs> Keep going if I were you, Panthro. It's the third rock from the sun, Todd. <laughs> you You dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was going to double check if Wiley Kit was the boy or girl, just to be sure. Wiley Kit is the female, yes. Wiley Cat is the, her twin brother. Where's your nipples, Jaga? <laughs> <laughs> I've got nipples, Todd. Could you milk me? <laughs> no. <laughs> So just to make sure they're going to meet meet or reach their destination, Jaga's going to have to pilot this thing himself. The ships took some damage. He don't trust the autopilot. So this is the end of Jaga as a flesh and blood person. But yeah, he comes back as a force ghost a yes. lot, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's very much like a force ghost from the rest of this series. And that's the thing. This series is a little bit Star Wars. Uh, in a way, it's a little bit Superman. You know, their home world is destroyed. They're having to exile to another planet. Right. You kind of mm -hmm. get a little bit of both here. What's the better home base? The Cat's Lair or the Castle Grayskull? What's the Ooh, better home I'm base? still going to give that one to Grayskull. That, that's, I'm giving yeah, that one to Grayskull. Yeah, Grayskull <laughs> is pretty bad. I don't know. Though. I do like the Cat's Lair. I do like the, the look of it. I feel like living in Grayskull would be more depressing. <laughs> And as far as the toy lines from back in the day goes, I think Masters of the Universe was a much better toy line than Thundercats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I agree with you there. Just from the original, I remember the you know the original toys that you had. The scale of them was too big. They didn't scale with any other figures you had. Uh, the Cat Slayer, it was nice, but it was really small. And it went really hard on this electronic gimmick where, like, you had a little sled for the mutants that shot at the Cat Slayer, and the Cat Slayer would shoot at the sled, and <laughs> they shot the budget on that. <laughs> What's the better sword, the Sword of Omens or the... Sword of power? power? yeah. Oh, 
I'm I, giving it to Omens. I'm giving it to Omens. It's, it's like just hands a, down to it's me. It's just a badass sword. Jaga's gone. <laughs> R.I.P. Jaga. In this form, anyway. It's just nothing but bracelets and a cloak. Maybe one day we'll go back. We'll, we'll maybe we will watch the the uh, the rebooted 2011 Thundercats. I really like that first two parter. After that, it really went downhill to me. Yeah, I don't I don't remember a whole lot about it. I do remember, like you say, it started strong and then kind of petered out, and then they just they pulled the plug. <laughs> this is also, I mean, Thundercats. This this origin is also very much Transformers too. True, true. Got a lot Which of also come yeah. out in 85, right? Yeah. Some, somewhere around that area, 84, 85. When does Lino grow up? Look, Snarf's coughing. So the thing is, or the way they explain it is, Lino's cryo chamber was damaged before you ever got in it. So he has aged. He's already grown up right oh, here. Okay. That's actually a good explanation for a kid's cartoon. The Academy's See, He's a full-grown dog right here. <laughs> <laughs> you mean or cat. cat. Yeah, he's a full-grown cat. Your bosom is showing, Lino. Now you're 40, Lino. <laughs> <laughs> you were 14 before, now you're 40. But it's cool. I always thought it was kind of cool how they played it because, you know, his body has grown, but his mind, right. he's still he's still a kid. <laughs> like you, Todd. <laughs> Very much like you. <laughs> I know I had forgot, too. Uh, right there, Jaga just said that while the, the suspension capsules slow down the aging process, some, some aging does occur. So Lionel goes in as a kid, he comes out as a full grown man. Right. So you got to figure his pod was damaged somehow. Mm -hmm. Because if you go off of what Jaga this said right there, the other Thundercats should come out, you know, showing some age. They pretty much right. come out looking like they did when they went in. Exactly. It's like Lionel's was almost reversed. Right. He's got amnesia. Show me all the all the ones that look like Slythe. Thank you. Yeah, Snarf brings this to him and Lionel refuses it, thinking it's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Just imagine Obi-Wan being like, this weapon is your life. <laughs> Yeah, they do look a lot yeah. like Slythe. Which one is it? Tigra? Well, they're all in there. Yeah. I can't remember if this ran for three seasons or two seasons. Mm. But towards the end, uh, we gained three more Thundercats. Uh, I, I do remember that game. There's another mutant shows up, a uh, vulture man. <laughs> they need more toys. Yeah. <laughs> but whenever I think, when I, when I consider the Thundercats, I think of the originals. And when I think of the mutants, I just think of these first three. Right. And then, of course, you got Mumra, who was already living here on Third Earth. That's my core group. When I think of the Thundercats, that's who, that's who I picture. I like the little music that's kicking in here. Force Ghost Jaga. <laughs> get out of that race car line get out <laughs> get off of this planet get line out, get out while you can there's a damn mummy man here <laughs> we go. what's going on Jaga <laughs> oh yeah here we go They still sleeping. <laughs> I like that. It's like a it's like a spade almost. You see that? Like you see a, that? Like yeah. the, the spade that, on the hill. 
Is that come into play that mean anything, I wonder? Not just, that just I recall. Something else, somebody, think... some underpaid animators, like, I'll put this in. We'll just put the, you know, yeah. we'll put a I playing need... card suit on, yeah. the, on the sword. Ah, uh, here we get the theme again. Classic. What is that thing called? A bolo What's that? whip? Is that what it's called? I guess it's just a bolo whip. Tiger could also turn invisible. Uh, Panthro was your master of anything mechanical. Right. Every group had to have Donatello. <laughs> yeah. Every group had to have your machines guy. True. Panthro was the Thundercats machines guy. Also, I, you know, he had those badass cats, Paul Nunchucks. So he had some martial arts training. Oh yeah. Where's the uh, where's the sheath come in at? For the it's like you know the glove. Yeah, the claw shield. I don't remember if this episode it's even shown. Mm, that was always one of my coolest things because mm -hmm. I'm like, the sword can go into it. It can kind of just him. stick to his side. Cheetah ran fast because, you know, she's a cheetah. Yeah. I mean, it makes <laughs> sense narratively. <laughs> Cat and Kit were just basically their thing where they had like little, like, you know, expl explosive bombs, little stink pellets, little stink, sneeze things. Stink pellets. Didn't they have surfboards at they some point? They had surf. Or they, get, they get hoverboards at one point, yeah. And Snarf does nothing but bitch. Snarf <laughs> just bitches and complains. He's the old wet blanket that won't, that won't <laughs> lie no to get in trouble or get hurt. <laughs> They're all like, yeah, kid. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff to learn yet, okay? <laughs> Snarf doesn't even look like a cat. He looks like some <laughs> kind of freaking alien. I mean, they're, they're aliens, obviously. but And this outro is badass. It is. <laughs> it is. Rankin Jr. and Jules Bass. Bass, yeah. Yeah, there's Pacific Animation Corps. Yeah, I mean, I still think I have not seen this in a very, very long time. I still think it's pretty strong. Yeah. Which, I mean, a lot of the a lot of these series do have strong pilots. and They do. You know, they kind said, of function as that 30-minute yeah. commercial for the toys. But I feel like this was a little bit, it goes a little bit more than, like, just being a 30-minute toy ad. I feel like it's pretty strong overall. It does. It has some good themes. Like I say, you know, it does, you know, kind of get a little rinse and repeat. Yeah. I mean, 65 episodes for the first you, you season. You kind of have to. You got to yeah. do something. Right. But yeah, there's still some stuff to go. You don't, I didn't, you don't even see Mumra in that episode. Yeah, you don't even get Mumra in that You don't Exodus. see the claw shield. So there's like mm -hmm. still a lot. You don't see, again, no Cat Slayer, no, no Thunder, Thunder Tank. Tank. So there's still a lot to be added to the universe. So pretty strong episode overall. So if you guys enjoyed watching this, you know, let us know in the comments if you want to see more of this or maybe us uh, kind of uh, watch the, uh, the 2011 one again or uh, just more Thundercats uh, content in general. Yeah, any 80s cartoon, man, please. <laughs> Todd's loving this. This is probably Todd's favorite yeah. reaction commentary he's done. He, he knows very much about this subject. Uh, so, Todd, can you tell people how to uh, find us and stay up to date with us on social media? We are Tau Capes on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tau Capes Podcast on Facebook. You can also email us at TauCapesPod at gmail.com. Uh, if you enjoy the show, please consider following us on your podcast platform of choice and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Tile Case will return next week. We want to thank you so much for listening. Until next time, bye, guys. See you, guys.